All right, guys, so welcome to the first official review on the new setup here. Hey guys, Shadow Collector here, and if you guys saw the most recent video, I did kind of just uh, explaining the revamp of the channel, restarting things, refreshing things up. I got a new setup here. I'm hoping it works out. Again, this is my first filming with this. Um, so the GoPro, if I'm showing the video here, is got this specific mount. Um, probably can't see it, but there's a bar that, you know, comes from this camera right here down, and then there's a bar right below to the GoPro. So really, really like this idea, this piece. I can move it so I can get out of my way if I'm not using it. Um, because some videos I don't use a GoPro. It's better functionality wise, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. Maybe these guys, like I said, this is a trial run. So hopefully this angle worked out and <laughs> we'll see once I edit this. So this was a Mercari purchase I did. And I know this box and thing had been out for a while. Had sold quite a bit of stuff on Mercari recently. So I was kind of able to kind of fuel my collection here with some pieces that are a little bit older um, that could be on the aftermarket. And I thought I paid a pretty decent price for this. I kind of looked it up for comps and everything. I think I took another 10 bucks off below what everyone else was going for. So I got a pretty good deal, uh, but it is this movie star teenage mutant Ninja turtles six pack uh that I believe was for correct me if i'm wrong like walmart's were selling these um because i found a couple at walmart before i'm um, going online and in store for different sets i knew that they had a movie line but this was the only way you can get the movie line boxes for uh splinter and shredder like they're coming out with the turtle figures again in stores uh but this is the only way you can get the Splinter and Shredder figures is in this complete box set. Figure we just take a look at the figures and I bring them out here. Um, I did already open it, you can tell, because um, Mercari just want to make sure everything came through okay. So let's take a look at each figure and show you. The one thing about the figures that are hitting shelves now, which kind of sucks, is they have this like um, magnetic strip or uh, you like barcode on the inside of these. Like you can't even remove it. It's really weird how they're doing that now. I don't. McFarlane has them. Uh, Playmates has them on their turtle figures sucks i don't know why it is i don't know if it's some kind of anti-theft thing or something but it, it or to avoid resellers trying to flip them and pretend that they're newer older ones i don't know anyways guys first one is leo here and like i said these are kind of the turtle the movie figure so they're kind of more the emphasis of looking like the turtles so the kind of big grin faces the more of a freckly polka dot type skin and everything like that so but they still have kind of the old school like break apart weapons and pizza slices on the side piece there so pretty cool and that's got some film strip of actual clips from the movie so really cool and then there's the back again with some more film clips and then all the figures they can get there so next one we got is mikey so again kind of the same look and everything like that and again these are all re-releases so these are not the originals or anything because um, they got the big old nickelodeon stamp of approval right there on this so but still pretty cool. All right, now here is the Shredder figure. And like I said, this is the only way that you can get this figure was in this box set. So that's why I kind of, I figured like I could, yeah, I know these pieces are kind of coming out and I can get them individually probably cheaper than this box set. But I think I got on average about 12 to $15 a figure um, for this box set. So it kind of worked out after taxes and everything if I did buy them in store. And again, you cannot find Shredder and you cannot find Splinter. But my luck, they probably will release some in store. So here is Raphael, who's got some like, actually, they all kind of got the same kind of like Battle Scar front pieces and everything like that. So yeah, cool, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm digging more of collecting just these uh, vintage card type figures and like hanging up i got a little collection set up over there and here's splinter which that's so cool that he's actually got a cloth like material and i didn't really have the movie figures growing up as a kid i had more of just the normal release line and then kind of some of the alternative versions he had you know the um bait the sports ones the monster ones those sort of things i didn't have um these the movie line here so that's cool that's an actual like cloth material and then last but not least Good old Donnie here, Donatello, everything there. And like I said, all six of these, so pretty good deal. The box I know can be collectible-ish, but I'm probably gonna make people cringe. I'm just gonna recycle it because I don't care for keeping these boxes. Even though they're kind of cool, the artwork I get it is, but just meh. Like I said, just kind of want to do this unboxing with these figures, a simple one uh, with the new setup and see how it comes across. Hopefully it did come out good. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you want to slap a thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, take it easy. See ya.